Okay, so we're going to be taking a look at the perpendicular bisector. To define the perpendicular bisector, it's easiest to take a look at a diagram. So let's say we have a line segment. Any line segment will do, it doesn't matter. Let's say you have a line segment here. Let's say this is one endpoint, we'll label it with an A. The other endpoint, we'll label it with a B. All right, and now let's suppose, what does the perpendicular bisector look like? Well, let me draw what the perpendicular bisector is. It is a line that crosses line segment AB at 90 degrees, and not only does it cross it at 90 degrees, but it crosses it at the midpoint. This is the perpendicular bisector of line segment AB. Notice it goes through the midpoint, right? This point right here is the midpoint of AB, and it crosses that line segment AB at 90 degrees. Because obviously you, there's, a, there's an infinite number of lines I could draw here that, that cross at 90 degrees, right? All these lines I'm drawing here, these are all parallel to the line I have in black here, right? These are all parallel to the line here in black. These all meet at 90 degrees. You can do an infinite number of them that do that, but there's only one perpendicular bisector that's going to cross at the midpoint. And in that case here, that's, that would be this point here. Okay, so notationally how this will be defined is instead of having to write perpendicular bisector, they'll just go perpendicular bisector of AB. So you can write this as well, uh, means the same thing, just a little, it saves you a little bit of space here, okay? So to summarize, your perpendicular bisector is a line that meets at 90 degrees, that's why they use the term perpendicular, and it meets at the midpoint of that line segment, i.e. it bisects the line segment splits it into two equal pieces. Okay, let's take a look at an example of how you would do this, how you would actually calculate this with some numbers here, okay? So uh, draw yourself a Cartesian plane here, and let's see what they're saying here. It says, find the equation of the perpendicular bisector whose line segment is joined by uh, PQ. So plot the point P and Q. So I got the point negative 1 and 4. I just need a rough estimate so you have something to reference. And then the point 3, negative 2. So, you know, a rough sketch of our line segment PQ in this case uh, would look something like this. Now my perpendicular bisector, again, I'm just guessing and making a visual, might look something like this, but I know it's got to meet at 90 degrees and it has to be the midpoint. Okay, well, how can I find the equation of this line? Right? I want to find the actual equation of this line here. So we want to find y equals mx plus b. I want to actually find that equation. Well, what do I know? I know one point on the line is the midpoint. Right, My perpendicular bisector shares this point I have right here. Well, that's my midpoint. So I'm going to calculate the midpoint of PQ. Well, we know the midpoint of PQ, you add up your x's and divide by 2. You add up your y's and divide by 2, and you actually have your midpoint. So in this case here, the midpoint is 1, 1. Okay, so now I have the midpoint, but I need something else to actually calculate the equation of this line. Well, how can I find the equation of a line? Am I able to find the slope of this line? Not directly, but I know, I know that they're connected because the slope of line segment PQ is perpendicular to the slope of line segment my perpendicular bisector. So I'm going to calculate the slope here, so I'm going to use lowercase m, slope of pq. Well, that's going to be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, well, what's y2? Let's label this one x1, y1. I'll label this point here x2, y2. Well, y2 is going to be negative 2 minus y1 is 4 over x2 is 3 minus your negative 1. So I end up getting negative 6 over 4 is minus 3 over 2. Now, this is not the slope of my perpendicular bisector. What I've just found here is I've just found the slope of this line. The slope of this line here is minus 3 over 2, right? Since I want the perpendicular bisector, I'm taking, going to take the perpendicular slope. And to find the perpendicular slope, you take the negative reciprocal, in which case this is 2 thirds. So now I'm in a situation where I have the slope of my line is 2 thirds, and I have a point on the line. 1, 1. So putting this information together, I can find the equation of a line. So the equation of my line here, let's take a look here, you need a little bit more room, 
the equation my line is going to be y equals my slope is two-thirds x plus I don't know that b value I want to find it but I know that that my line crosses through the point one one so I'm going to sub in one one into this equation and in which case we get one equals two-thirds plus b solving for this here I just multiply across by three subtract off the two and then divide out the three and you get a third okay so my answer here for this question is the perpendicular bisector of line segment PQ is y equals two-thirds x plus what do we find the b value to be one-third Okay, and there you go. This is how you calculate the perpendicular bisector of an equation. Okay, just to recap, to so make sure everyone's with us here, what I did was our perpendicular bisector is a line that meets this at 90 degrees and crosses at the midpoint. I needed my midpoint. I calculated my midpoint. Now I have a point on the line. I wanted some other characteristic of this line to find its equation, so I said, well, can I find the slope of this line? What I did instead was I found the slope of this line, which was minus 2 thirds. By taking the negative reciprocal, we have the slope of this line. Now I have a slope, and I have a point. Here's my slope. Here's my point. I subbed it in to my equation, and I found the equation of my line. If you're not familiar with this technique of uh, finding the equation of a line, I'm going to put a link at the end of this video. You can check it out. Uh, it just goes through finding the equation of a line. Uh, given a slope and a point, uh, given two points, uh, etc. All right, thank you.